Hey guys, welcome back. Man, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're, you still got some time left to garden. My garden's kind of starting to really slow down, but I'm starting to think about next year. If you've watched some of my videos, I had some problems in my garden this year. I was uh, lacking in nutrients. My pH was off. So I want to start right now to fix that. So if you're a beginning gardener, and you want to make sure you got good soil for next year or you've gardened for a year or two and maybe you didn't get the results you wanted watch this video i'm going to explain the carbon to nitrogen ratio uh kind of how your plants uh, uptake nutrients what what is the optimum soil for that uh just basically go over the the the, the bones of gardening the real simple real straightforward what you need to know about your soil okay so i'm not going to try and hook anybody you know wait till the end and watch this i'm going to tell you right now because i really do want everybody to have a good garden okay you can fix every soil problem you have with organic matter that's organic compost organic hay leaves straw you will eventually fix your soil okay now if you want to learn how to do it maybe a little more efficient and where your plants are going to do a little better watch the rest of the video uh, like i say i did a lot of research and this really really does get deep so what i'm going to do over the next you know two or three videos this is where my corn was now i had problems with my corn i had a lack of nitrogen and i had a nutrient deficiency in this soil okay so i need to fix that so i'm going to do a few things one um in an, in an upcoming video i'm going to plant green manure i'm going to plant alfalfa uh, clover things like that in here now, when I, I mowed all this down, you see all this brown here, okay? That's a carbon. So let's go over the carbon to nitrogen ratio. In any compost video that you're going to watch, I guarantee you they're probably going to say you need a 30 to 1 carbon to nitrogen ratio, maybe a 25 to 1. That's 25 units of carbon to one unit of nitrogen okay in your garden you need a 24 to 1 ratio for your plants to optimally take up nutrients into their roots okay so if I just tilled that in that's organic matter I'm going to hurt my my garden initially because what nitrogen is left in the soil, it's going to get used to get to that 24 to 1 that my soil wants. So I'm actually going to become even more nitrogen deficient. So I want to add some nitrogen in here. Okay. So what is a carbon? Brown leaves, hay, uh, dead grass, straw wood shavings um, things like that that is a carbon now if you go and you cover your your garden with uh, wood shavings man that's like a 300 to 1 you would have to add a ton of nitrogen to balance that out likewise if you just add pure manure to your garden that's all nitrogen Again, you, you got to have that balance, okay? So what are some of the nitrogens? Green grass, green leaves, manure, things like that are a nitrogen. So like I say, you, you really want to have that balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to till this up. I'm going to plant that green manure and it is going to fix a ton of nitrogen. And then next year, I usually don't do this. But next year, I'm going to plant corn in here to see if, if I did any better, okay? So, if I do all that and everything's great, how does a plant take in a nutrient? Takes it in through the leaves, 
through the air and it takes it in through the roots. The most common way is through the roots. Now, that's where this 24 to 1, and there is a range here, guys. Don't think it has to be perfect. If it was perfect, I'd pull my hair out. There is a range. But if you can get it close, that's where that soil and all them microbes and everything is working together, releasing these nutrients in that soil. Your nitrogen, your phosphorus, you know, your potassium, all that stuff. And your plant can take it in through the roots, okay? So if you just, if you're not close to that balance, you're going to have what I had this year where I had little stubby ears and, you know, my stalks were a more yellow than a dark green, you know, things like that because my plant just couldn't get, you know, them nutrients and that nitrogen was lacking and everything. So we're going to do some things and, and we're going to see if I can't make my garden better. And I hope I explained this in, uh, you know, uh, a, a way that everybody could kind of understand it. Like I say, it really, really does get deep. It's very interesting, but very, very deep. So in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show how I'm going to go about starting to fix this soil. So you guys, hey, have a good night. And I, uh, like I say, I hope everything's going well for you. And I will talk to you later. Hey, see ya.